everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be putting a coat of resin on this 10 by 10 acrylic pour that I did a few weeks ago, about actually four weeks ago. I like to let my paintings cure for about four weeks. That means they're fully hardened before I do any resining to them or any kind of varnishing either. There's less chance of cloudiness or any bubbling the longer you let it cure. So I made this for a club that I belong to. It's gonna go into a raffle basket. So I want it to, to be <laughs> extra pretty because it's got my name on it. <laughs> So I'm using art resin and painting the size calls for about three and a half ounces. I went ahead and mixed up four just to make sure I had enough resin. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So with art resin, you have to put in equal amounts of the resin and then an equal amount of the hardener. They have to be exact. If they're not, the resin isn't gonna mix correctly and you're gonna have stickiness. It won't harden. I mean, it's really picky. <laughs> It has to be exact. I've made the mistake before by not being exactly, like trying to eyeball it, and it was a disaster. So I measure to make sure it's exact. Make sure you mix it for three minutes, three full minutes. And as you're mixing, scrape the sides and also scrape across the bottom really well too to make sure you're getting all of it mixed. I've already made sure that my canvas is level. It needs to be level, especially for resin because resin is self-leveling and if it's not level, it's gonna be sliding off and it's gonna be a disaster. You have to redo it. And we all know resin is not cheap, so we wanna get it right the first time. Okay, I actually started mixing this before I got on camera, so I'm pretty sure I have a full three minutes, maybe even more, into mixing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this onto my canvas. A lot of people use things to spread their resin around. I just use my fingers, or my gloved hand, I should say, because I just find it easier to spread it. So I'm just gonna spread it. I'm not gonna go over the edges yet. I just wanna make sure the top is fully covered. It's kinda hard to see. Sometimes you have to get way down at an angle to make sure you're covering everything. It's really hard to see with these colors. It's easier to see on a black canvas or a painting that has lots of black in it. For me anyway, I find it easier. Also, um, I forgot to mention, since this painting had silicone in it, before I resined it, I cleaned it really well. First I rubbed some cornstarch in it. That kind of soaks up any silicone that might be on top of the canvas. Then I washed it off really well with a wet, warm cloth. I just kept going over it and over it until all the cornstarch was off of it. Some people use Dawn. I don't. It, it freaks me out when I see a little bit of color coming up. I don't like that, so I don't use the Dawn. Now I'm just taking my finger and getting some resin on it from the center and putting it along the edges. This way it keeps it from overflowing and causing a lot of drippage. I mean, you're, you might have some drippage going to the bottom because it is self -love leveling but to me it's better than letting it just flow over on its own. You can try different ways whatever works best for you. I just find that this works best for me to do that because I hate cleaning those resin drops off the back of the paintings. I usually end up having to file them or sand them or something and it's a hassle. I find that there's a lot less problems if I do it like this. Sometimes I still have to sand a little bit but not as much as if I just let it spill right over the edge. Okay so I'm going to get down and eyeball it and make sure I have resin going all the way to the edges still. Sometimes if your canvas isn't tight enough, it'll sink in the middle and all the resin will kind of pool to the middle and then you have problems with the edges. So I like to really tighten them with a blow dryer before I even paint on them. What you do, you spray the back of your canvas with some water and then blow dry it. I use a hot blow dryer and it tightens it, tightens it like a drum. So that way when you do paint, and you're going to get a better painting too because it's not going to be sliding off and it's also better when you're going to resin. And then I like to go along the bottom here with my finger so if any drops are starting to gather, I can get them off. Whenever you use resin, you have to have a torch because you're gonna need to torch the bubbles that you can't avoid when you use resin. There's always bubbles in it. Yeah, I really don't like resining something like in this color palette because it's really, really hard to see. Black, it'll show spots right away. Okay, I use a propane torch. You can use a butane torch. It doesn't really matter as long as you have heat to get rid of the bubbles.
looks good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cover this up and then I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours and then I'm gonna look at it. And then I usually let it sit for like 48 hours before I actually move it around or anything. I don't think you really have to, it's just me, what I do, because I get paranoid about it. So there's how you resin a acrylic paint pour. Stay tuned for close-ups and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.